Since the sternocleidomastoid does not directly attach to the cervical spine, then how is it affected with reverse lordosis? Okay, so first of all, uh, the sternocleidomastoid is this muscle that runs from the clavicle up to the mastoid process, which is on the skull, the temporal bone. Reverse lordosis is, instead of us having some curvature like so, we actually have it the other way. We we'll call it kyphosis. Okay, so the relationship is typically related more to sternocleidomastoid's relationship with the upper trapezius and then how that affects with their co-contractile synergistic movements on the sternocleidomastoid. So basically what this means is that if you're trying to improve the lordosis of your neck, not only should you work on that, but improve the muscle activity here and here.